he coding in his future? Smart kid. Good job. Well, it certainly looked like Christmas. It sounded like Christmas. And uh, KJ, it definitely feels like Christmas, all these cool temps. It really does feel like Christmas. Perhaps it's time to pull out those ugly Christmas sweaters. We'll need them to keep warm. Check this out. Current temperature now 43. Once you wake up tomorrow morning, we will likely drop another 18 degrees. So yes, temperatures are going down rather quickly for tonight. So if you know anyone who needs a warm place to stay tonight, let them know we do have some aerial shelters opening up at 8 p.m. tonight through 6 a.m. tomorrow, and that's when those temperatures drop below 32, which will be the case tonight by midnight, 30 degrees. It gets even colder as we move into the start of your day tomorrow. Here's an outlook for Monday morning. Mid-20s for most areas, 25 to start off the day tomorrow in Charlotte, coming in 21 degrees in Lincolnton, 20 as well in Boone. So all in all, it is going to be a very cold day, so make sure you cover any plants you may have outdoors or bring them inside. Also, you want to protect your pipes and also protect your pets if you have any pets outdoors so they don't have to endure these bitterly cold temperatures tonight. And I know some of you, like myself, like to meal prep on Sunday evenings. Uh, yeah, perhaps you'll want to make some chili for the week, especially temperatures 48 dry for your Monday, Tuesday 45, a little damp. We may have some cloud cover as well into midweek. We'll slowly start to see an uptick in those rain chances by midweek, and certainly those rain chances are going to shoot up as we move into your Thursday and primarily why we'll have multiple systems sort of swinging through by Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll have systems becoming nearby, giving us that hint of rainfall. Not an all out wet day, but by Thursday, we'll likely have rain on Thursday also into Friday, and that is going to be that close call that scenario. You know, I don't want to bypass the elephant in the room. I know many of you would like to know if we are going to see snow in the next several days. So I want to marry the two together because it's going to take those ingredients in terms of the cold air, not just at the surface, but we're talking about throughout the atmosphere from the ground all the way up. In addition to that, will the rainfall outpace the cold? You can see a cold front is going to approach us Thursday into Friday morning, 8 a.m. Temperatures to start off the day Friday will be around 50. So if the rain is still in place or at least on the back side of that system, system as it moves out could give us the chance of a brief window for mixing. So we'll keep an eye out for that. In addition to it, by Saturday morning, it is going to be in the teens. So I want to break it down for you just to give you an idea of what we know, what we don't know right now in terms of the net storm system by late week, Thursday into Friday, strong cold front, bitterly cold for Friday into the day Saturday. So those temperatures will drop throughout the day Friday. And also we're looking at near freezing temperatures on Christmas Day. But so far it's just too soon to know if we'll actually have snow across the Piedmont and how much and who gets what. And that's going to depend on that storm track. Here's your guy roof and seven day forecast. So looking ahead at temperatures well below the freezing mark headed into your Christmas holiday. We'll be back.